What is up guys, The Flying Tech here, and today we're going to be checking out the B-Core by Eshin. So let's get right into it. Alright guys, as you can see I've got a brand new Inductrix, the B-Core brain, a VTX cam, some solder, and some tools. Alright, so now we're going to take apart the Inductrix, get the old board out of there so we can make room for the new one. After removing the plastic cockpit, it's just a matter of four screws. And then remove all four motors. Next, carefully pry up the old board and remove it. All right, now let's check out what comes in the box of the B-Core. You've got the rubber mount, a micro USB, and the B-Core itself. Alright, next we're going to go ahead and put on the rubber mount so that we can mount the B-Core onto our Inductrix frame. There are two arrows on the board that will show the forward direction. All right, next you're gonna solder on the positive and negative connections for the camera and battery. The negative will go on the left and the positive will go on the right. Next, go ahead and strip your wires, twist them together, pre-tin the board and solder it up. When you're done, it should look something like this. To prepare for binding, you have to jump these two connections. I went ahead and soldered on a little wire as you can see. To set things up on the controller you want to get into the menu by pressing in the two trim buttons and pushing up on the power. Now press the OK button, that'll take you into the menu. Press OK again, we're going to select the model. The model you select can be number one, model name if you choose, I'm going to leave it stock. The type, you're going to go ahead and keep it at airplane or glider. You don't need to copy, we don't need to reset. RX setup, this is the most important. We're gonna go ahead and change it from AFHDS 2A to disabled AFHDS 2A. Turn it off, and now you're set. Now to put the controller in bind mode, hold the bind button here and turn it on. Now you're ready for binding. While the controller is in bind mode, plug in your whoop, Wait for the green light to flash a few times, desolder the bind jumper, and you're good to go. Alright guys, so this is a website provided by Banggood that pretty much explains everything about your board, how it binds, how the setup is supposed to be within beta flight or clean flight. But here's the most important part right here. The motors are going to be situated a lot differently than they are with the regular blade inductrix. As you can see, the setup of the motors is different. Make sure that you take note of the rotation of each motor before you insert them. Moving right along, you're going to go ahead and take this code right here, put it into the CLI tab of Clean Flight. This is going to stop your motors from spinning the moment you plug in your battery. Here explains exactly what I was saying earlier about taking your uh, controller out of AF HDS mode. Here's where it shows you the bind jumpers that you need to jump in order to bind. And that's pretty much it. I'll leave a link in the description so you can view this page yourself. All right, next let's move on to clean flight. So go ahead and connect up your tiny whoop. The first thing you're gonna do is calibrate the, the accelerometer. Next we'll move on to the ports tab. You can see that uh, I have the first two checked off. That's pretty much it. I'm leaving those stock. Next, we'll move down to configuration. As you can see, I have motor stop. I have disarm motors. Uh, 5, 1150, 2000, 1000 are the settings there. Everything else is pretty much default. If you go under the fail safe tab, you'll see that I have it set to drop rather than land. That's how I prefer it. 
All right, the most important, my PIDs. I can tell you right off the bat, the stock PIDs were garbage. I was all over the place, and you'll see that a little later on in the video. As you can see, I've gone ahead and set my PIDs a little bit on the higher side. This is a perfect setting for me. It may or may not be for you. Next, we go into the controller tab. You want to go ahead and connect up your controller, turn it on, make sure it's bound, make sure that your throttle is where it should be, make sure that everything is working, check with auxiliaries are, are working and which are not. Then we can move on to the modes tab. You can see where I've set my modes for arm, angle, and horizon. You may want to set yours differently. And that's it. At this point, you could save and exit, and you're good to go. All right, guys, here's a maiden flight with the stock PID. I am using the upgraded motors. I failed to mention that earlier. So we have a little bit more power. I'm also powering this unit with a Nitro Nectar 210 uh, MAH battery. You can see it's, it's kind of wobbly. It's kind of uh, all over the place. I'm really trying here just to hover properly. It, it really is sloppy. It wants to get away from itself. It's all wobbly and uh, wonky. Uh, it's just not a comfortable fly at all. All right, guys, without further ado, the maiden flight. Enjoy. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Next, I'll be taking this guy out for some acro outdoors. Please stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed. If you found this helpful, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.